guys, in today's video I am breaking down the scene with the school rotating screens and revealing text animation. And in the next one I will show you how I made this cyber text and the background. All made in Fusion and completely plugin free. If you want to see a full step by step tutorial on this text animation, please let me know in the comments down below. So let's get started. So this entire scene was actually made in 2D. I tried doing it in 3D, added a camera, image planes, all that good stuff, but my Mac Studio was like, hey man, not today, that's a bit too much for me. So instead I went for a fake 3D look, and honestly it turned out great. Plus it's way easier on your hardware. Here we have 6 clips on the timeline, stacked on top of each other, at the bottom is a background I exported as a video, and the other 5 are cool futuristic clips from Artlist. I place them in the order in which they will appear in the final scene. So let's select all of them, right click, new fusion clip, open fusion page. So here we have 6 media in nodes including the background video. We need more space here. Media and 6 node is the top clip. Apply transform node to it and position it the way you like. Copy and paste transform nodes to other clips. Let me add a rectangular mask to this clip to make it more vertical. Cool, now we need to add a DVE node to add 3D rotation to our videos. Hover your playhead to 35th frame. Set keyframe on rotation Y value. Go to the first frame and set it to 78. Open spline editor to use keyframes. Ok, now let's add a fade reveal to our clips. Select rectangular mask, step to around 25th frame, set keyframes on soft edge and border width. Go to the first frame and set edge to 0 0.08 and width to minus 0 0.15. Nice, now let's add a luma keyer node to make the surreal effect even better. Go to 30th frame, set expand to 4, step on the first frame and set it to minus 1. Ease your keyframe with Spline Editor. Let's see what we have. Drop Gamma value to around 0.2. And I would also increase Soft Edge effect. Cool. Next step is to add a shiny edge motion. Add merge node and connect it to media 6 node. Select media and 6 node and add edge detect node. Disconnect media and 6 from merge node and connect edge detect node to yellow input, media and 6 to green input and media and 6 node to edge detect node. Now we have this nice edges around our image. I'm gonna set values, you can copy it or set values based on your taste. Let's animate these edges by adding a rectangular mask. Make it longer. Rotate it to around 45 degrees, place it in the left right corner, set keyframe somewhere in the beginning of the clip, move 20 frames forward and place the mask in the right bottom corner. Don't forget to soften the edges. And now we have this nice shiny animation. Let's make more space here. Now copy DVE and Lumakir nodes and paste it to the next clip above. Step on the first frame of DVE rotation and make it minus 78, so it rotates from another side. Copy edges detect with rectangular mask and also paste and connect it to the top clip. Repeat the process for the rest of the clips. And after that you have something like this. Ok, next we need to add motion to the scene. Select Merge 6 node, Shift Space and apply Transform node. Hover playhead to the 40th frame, set keyframe on size, Step on the first frame and change size to around 2.4. Open Spline Editor to use keyframes. 
you can drag right slider to create a gradual stop in motion at the end. Ok, this media in one node is our background clip, I want to add motion to it as well. Apply transform node, step on the 40th frame, set keyframe on size, go to the first frame and set size to 1.5. We have added motion to the background, but made it a little slower so it creates a 3D parallax look, even though we are working in 2D space. Don't forget to use your keyframes. Cool, now we can create a group, so notes don't get messy. Select the notes you want, right click, group. Let's rename it and apply soft glow effect to make it look more fancy. Change threshold to 0.18 and gain to 0.7. Looking good. I want to add some blur with the mask, add Gaussian blur and connect circular mask to it. Make it wider. Enable inward checkbox, set soft edge to 0.2. Increase width a bit. Now I want to animate this mask. Go to 30th frame, set keyframes on width and height, step on the first frame and make this mask narrow like so. Open spline editor to ease the keyframes. Let's see what we have in the edit page. Looking good. Now I want to add cool scratches to our scene. Just open the folder with the video file and drag it into the fusion page. So now it appears as a media in one node. Let's add a merge node and connect media in one node with scratches to the merge node. Change apply mode to difference. Also add a stop motion effect so it doesn't have that smooth motion. And luma keyer node to make it look thinner and not that visible. It already looks much better. Next we will add a text, but first let me open the screens group and grab a transform node with our zoom effect and make a group again, but without a transform node, so the future text will also be affected by the motion. Let's add a new merge node before transform node, drag a text node and connect it to the merge node. Type your text, choose font, increase size a little. Open Shading tab, change type to Gradient and adjust the gradient look to your liking. Now go back to Text, right click, Follower. We are going to animate Opacity. I am on the 25th frame right now, so set keyframe on Opacity. Move to the 13th frame and set Opacity to 0. Open Spline Editor and ease keyframes. Open time and window, set order to outside in and delay to 5.6. Looking good. Let's add a Luma Keyer node to add some more revealing animation. Animate contract expand values and ease keyframes in spline editor. Wow, that's a nice pink glitch. It is not visible right now, but we will see it later. Shift space and look up for fast noise. Connect it to our text node. Set parameters to your liking or copy mine. So now we have this cool cloud-like revealing text. Next, let's add a shiny edge motion just like the one we added to our screens. Add merge and edge detect nodes. Make sure to connect it in the correct order. Add rectangular mask and animate motion. Cool. Add soft glow effect and set threshold to around 0.6 and gain size to 15.
awesome. Let's also add a drop shadow effect so we can better see the text. Now I'm going to apply a transform node to add a little bit of motion to it, so it's not that static. Ease keyframes in spline editor. Let's see what we've got. Oh, that's a nice glitches on the text. I hope they are gone after I export the video. And what you can also do is to change apply mode of our screens from normal to screen for example. So it has that nice transparent look. And the last part is to add secondary small text on the side. Select Merge 13 node, shift space and apply a new merge node. Connect new text to it, type your text, make it small and place it where you like. Duplicate this text node, change text, make font style different from the previous one and place it at the bottom. Add couple more text to the scene and place it in different parts of the screen. Animate Merge Blend value to create fading animation. Or you can apply that cloud in animation from the main text if you want by copy pasting Fast Noise node. Nice, let's also add a soft glow effect to secondary text. Let's put this text inside a new group. And I also found out that this Luma Keyer node is causing all the glitches. So when you export the video, second glitches on the text are gone, but the first one in the beginning are still there. So if you also have the same glitches as mine, it's up to you to leave Luma Keyer enable or just disable it. And one more thing is you can change text composite mode to difference. It also has a cool look. So you can play around with different settings and parameters, maybe add some more effects and find your best look. Thanks a lot for watching guys. And please let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a full tutorial on this text animation. And see you in the next one.